What is up guys, today is April 1st of 2014, um, it's April Fool's Day, so happy April Fool's Day to all of you. Um, I don't really have any pranks planned for this video, <laughs> but um, I do have a pretty cool test for you guys today. So, um, anyway, um, first of all, inside the panel, I've got a re returning device. The Simplex 4905 9938 SmartSync module. Yes, I've, I've got a SmartSync system hooked up today. Um, we got my Simplex 4906 9134 chime strobe. Um, my, one of my uh, Cerberus Paratronics MS501s. And the usual PE-3. But we have an extension. So, back here, we've got my Simplex 4901 9820 horn set to um, SmartSync. And my Simplex 4904-9332 strobe. So, um, anyway, um, currently the 4004 is in trouble uh, simply because I, d I don't know where the uh, the resistor goes. This is the resistor here that I use. Um, I, I All I can assume is that it goes into the horn control in on the SmartSync module, but if, if you guys know like where the, the resistor goes, then please tell me so I can uh, clear this trouble. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the only trouble that's on there. Um, yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, the module is, uh, coded to code three. Um, and, um, yeah, you're probably not going to be able to, to hear the chime over the horn. It's, it's going to be very, very loud, definitely. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the strobe should be in sync. Um, the, the, um, the, the sound should be in sync, so... Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get on some hearing protection here, so I'm going to lean the camera up against the pull station here. I'm going to go ahead and put on my hearing protection. Or maybe not. Maybe I won't lean the camera up against stuff anymore. I should just put it on the floor. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. It's going to be hard to do with this with, with one hand. Um, due to how this pull station is set up, I, I can't just pull it because, you know, it, it would pull right into the floor, so these things have got to be mounted, really, for you to pull them, so that's why I'm just going to key activate it, or um, hex activate it, I guess you could say. Okay, um, it's silenced. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick smoke test here.
Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and reset here. As you guys can see, the strobes are perfectly in sync. Okay. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, it, it took me quite a while to set this up, actually, so... Bit of a pain, but, you know, I think this is a pretty good setup, so... Um, if you guys were curious, still, um, about, about the System 3... Um, I've still got to get the other um, part of the panel for my dad's work, um, which should be sometime this week. I talked to my dad, and uh, I, th I think he is willing to bring me home the other part of the uh, System 3 panel for me. Um, since this panel doesn't have the NAC connections and stuff, um, and a part of me, you know, a part of me kind of wants to get this panel going now, so... Um, if I can get the part of the panel with the main input and all the controls and stuff, then, um, yeah, so that's that's your update on the System 3. Still don't have the second panel yet, but I hope to get it soon. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and happy April Fool's Day.